All right, I am going to show you how to create an avatar in Tinkercad or something like that. So if you go under Tinkercad and basic shapes, you will see that you've got a bunch of other things available. Characters have a lot of options that are pretty fun to start with. Um, so you can use the Astrobot, a chicken foot, um, you know, a mustachioed chicken foot is always a, a classic choice. Um, one thing that I like to do is make sure that you use that align tool to center things uh, and make sure that they're lined up nicely. And sometimes you'll do that and you'll notice like, oh, I wanted this to be centered over top of the foot. Um, the reason that that is, is that this element is being considered as the entire chicken foot plus like, you know, the leg and the foot. So the center of, uh, of mass of that or the center of the object is in this location right here. So that's why the mustache lines up there. So you can always move it back uh, by using the arrow on your keypad or um, changing other parameters with your mouse. So you can do that always a couple of different ways. So find the way that you like moving objects around. So, um, so this is one way to create your object. Um, another way, let's see what else can we do here. Um, things that I like to talk about are order of operations. You guys should be used to hearing me say that by now. So if I click on these eyeballs and I use my favorite align tool to, oh, I think my face is in the way here, to get those nicely lined up. And if I do something accidentally and, you know, do that, I mean, maybe that's cool, but uh, maybe that's not what I wanted to do. You can either undo up here or with control Z. Um, and then you've got your eyeballs looking at you. If I select them both and group them, they will move as one object, which is really useful. They will also scale as one object, also very useful. So order of operations. Um, matters. If we bring Blanky in here, we can, let's see if Blanky wants to participate in this conversation. Hello. Sometimes it takes a second and sometimes Tinkercad catches up and you have an army of Blankies waiting for you. Um, if that happens, you can embrace the army or you can delete them. Uh, at this point, I can move those eyeballs up and we want to look at how this intersects the sphere, which is the head. And if I, let's see, what did we say? That was an undo. What did I say was the pan? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, hello Siri. I don't know how to pan. <laughs> no problem. Oh, really? Uh, okay, well, just kidding. Siri's not very useful in this case. I think I need to actually Google that again. Um, but you can see from these different angles that those eyes are, in fact, sticking out from the face. Um, so again, you can change and scale these. Um, sometimes you do something you don't mean to, control Z or the back arrow. Um, the other thing that I was saying is let's say that you want one of these eyeballs to be sticking out and one of them to be uh, just kind of like in the face, you know, as it, as it currently is. Um, I don't need to undo every step. I just need to ungroup those eyes. So all I did was I clicked ungroup and I can click off of the object and then back on and you'll see that it selects only a single one. And then I can have it, you know, maybe it's a, a very incredulous eyeball here uh, that's sticking out a little bit further and is a little bit higher. Well, <laughs> by a little bit, I really exaggerated that. Um, so again, orbit often so that uh, you know what's going on. So then you can select everything and group the whole thing together and that solidifies the entire object. So now if I click on Blanky and I move Blanky, all the things move together. So that's very useful. Um, so you will be grouping things and ungrouping them, modifying and 
merging and editing things in different orders in order to get what you want. Um, again, remember that you can go under characters and you can, uh, you, can, you can play with all these different objects. These are all scaled uh, pretty nicely so that they play well with Blanky. And again, don't forget that align tool is super useful. And I'm just gonna now pull that up. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And there we go. There's my incredulous eye uh, avatar. So up here um, under the name generator, I can change this. And then that's it. In order to submit in Tinkercad, this is it. This is all that you have to do. As long as you're using the, uh, the class login link that you have provided for you in Canvas and in your emails, all you have to do is create a thing and title it, and I will have access to that. You do not need to do anything else to submit your project.